Brr, it's chilly in here. Hi guys, uh, welcome to my tutorial on how to create wind. Uh, this should be pretty simple for anybody who knows the basic um, building blocks of any synthesizer. You've got your oscillator, your filter, your amp envelope and your LFO. Uh, that's like pretty, pretty much all you need. Uh, maybe delay effect and uh, chorus effect, but it should be uh, it should be pretty simple to uh, understand. Uh, so if we, I've got all these, I've had to write down all these steps because I've got memory like a sieve. So <laughs> apologies if there's kind of uh, breaks. Okay, so my plugin is this one. Uh, it's called Hybrid Three by Air, and I got this uh, for about. 10 quid in the Cyber Monday sale of 2016, and that was at like a 96% price reduction. It was insane. I was so happy. So, the uh, first... Uh, where's my... What am I doing? Right, yeah, of course. What is wind? Right. Wind, basically, is a clusterfuck of noise. So, that's your first clue. What are we going to need? We're going to need some noise. So let's go to our oscillator. Every oscillator on every synth plugin should have some form of noise generator. And we're going to crank that right up. What have I got right now? I've got a, got a saw wave on the go. Let's throw the noise up. Now we've got a really noisy saw wave. Uh, and we don't want this saw wave, so turn the actual oscillator itself down. Now we've just got a bunch of noise. Doesn't sound like wind though. Uh, so, let's think. What should we do next? Well, wind doesn't stop and start instantly, because that would just be stupid. That's not the way nature works. So we're going to have to, like, go, go to your amp envelope, we're going to have to increase the attack and the release. Like, we could just do the attack. So we've got a nice slow fade in, but then it just cuts off. Now that's stupid as well. Why, who would do such a thing? So, got to increase the attack and the release. And then everything was okay. Except it's totally not, because it still doesn't sound like wind. Now, the there's a lot of high frequency content, and it still sounds like noise. So what you're going to want to do next is come to your cutoff frequency, uh, blah, 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 cutoff filter, which alters the cutoff frequency, um, and you're going to want to bring that down until it sounds good. Sounds all right. Oh, there we go. Oh, that could be it. Is that the sweet spot? Now that sounds more like wind, kind of. It actually sounds more like rushing water from a distance. But we're getting there. We're getting closer. Now, uh, what's next on my list? Uh, I I, okay, LFO. Ah, uh, yeah, right. <clears throat> yeah, there's no animation in this. You can still tell it's just like straight noise. It doesn't sound... It doesn't sound right. So, what we want to do is animate this cutoff cut frequency, because you'll notice if I pull this up and down and stuff. Just ever so slightly. That fluctuating makes it sound more natural. So, let's make it fluctuate without actually having to uh, do it ourselves. That's what we build these machines for. Uh, LFO, LFO, that's what we need, the LFO. So, what you're going to want to do is link your cutoff frequency to your LFO on your synthesizer. I'm going to LFO 1. And then what I'm going to do is, just for demonstration purposes about what this is actually doing, here is the LFO maxing out. Sounds bloody horrible. But that'll give you an idea of exactly what this LFO is doing. So, you're going to want to bring it down. Okay, so we've got some fluctuations now in the cutoff frequency, but it doesn't sound right because wind doesn't do this. It doesn't. It doesn't. It doesn't sine wave all over the place. That's just ridiculous. It's random. It's completely random noise. So navigate in your LFO to uh, the bit that lets you change the shape. That is the technical term, and change it to not that S and H. I don't know what that is. Sounds like a sex thing. Uh, random. <clears throat> Change it to random, and now the cutoff frequency is moving up and down randomly, just like wind. So we've got these 
occasional, it, like, just be varies between, like, subtle and larger fluctuations. You can uh, increase, like, how, like, big the, like, the depth of the LFO is. But you want it to be fairly shallow so that it sounds kind of natural. Okay, so that's not bad. It's got a little bit more animation. Now, another thing we can do is increase the resonance. If you don't know what resonance is, basically, the point that the cutoff frequency is at, uh, what the re by boosting the resonance, you will boost that specific point of the cutoff frequency, which will make it much more noticeable. So if I was to, say, increase this resonance here, you can hear the cutoff frequency is much more present. Now, we're not using it for that purpose as such. Well, yeah, we are. But it's mainly because it will create an occasional kind of whistle to the um, noise. Just like wind. Now, if you want, like, a stronger wind, obviously a stronger wind's going to have a bit more whistling to it, so you would adjust the resonance accordingly. I want a kind of all-purpose wind. So, I'm going to keep it about that. That's alright. Um, and just to note, like, if you want like a stronger wind or a gentler wind, just uh, volume adjustments. Well, not just that, um, but one of the main things, volume adjustments. And also, less high frequency content. Makes a much more, like, gentle wind sound. So they're the main things for um, the power of your wind. Uh, yeah. EQing will also play a part, but we'll get to that later. So at the minute, I'm just going to max it all out. It's a really windy day. Uh, the final, the final. There's only actually two things left. Like that's the majority of the work actually done. Uh, one thing you can actually put in is a chorus effect, and that will give a kind of comb filtering. Um, which is something that we hear, like, day to day, so... But you don't want to overdo this. If you overdo this chorus, you'll... It sounds very flangy and does not sound good. So you want to it really subtle with the chorus. And finally, uh, we want to make it really stereo, because obviously wind is, like, all around us. It's not just, like, directly in front of us. Um, the best way... I found to do that is you could either use a stereo enhancer or but but I think a, a delay is a very good way. So if you've got um, a delay unit, see I've, I'm just using the delay on this, which is a very kind of simple one knob thing. Um, but if you've got a delay unit, you know, switch your ping pong on and make it quite a long delay as well, because it doesn't, like, the longer the better, it just adds to the, like, mental, like, noise that wind is. Now I'm going to do some final little tweaks, um, to try and get it just how I want it. Did I link the resonance? I didn't link the resonance. Guys, why didn't you tell me? I'm here, being a fool. Gonna make that more subtle. That sounds nicer. That's a bit calmer. Okay, right. I'll work with that. I could, you could be here for ages tweaking this stuff, but I'm gonna work. I'm gonna have to settle. Okay. Right. The final thing 
at least to me, the final thing, uh, is to add some EQ. So if I find my EQ, drag it onto my track, and boom, got some EQ, right. Now this is where you can really shape the power of the wind. Um, for example, if you want it to be quite stormy, I found the low, boosting the low mid area really brings out that kind of power behind the wind. Maybe even with the low, low mids. Rumbly. Let's, re let's uh, reduce the queue. Whoa. That stormy wind. Or we could do the complete opposite and just take that away. That doesn't sound very natural. Um, so I wouldn't recommend, from the sound of it, Boosting highs aren't a good idea. Maybe the very highs. That's quite nice, actually. Or we can make it much more gentle. Like that. Or we could boost this to add a bit of character and then reduce the output gain. To make it a calmer day. But you get the general idea. So this is kind of like, you can have stormy, summer day, nice and breezy, everyone's happy. Yeah. So this can be uh, accomplished on pretty much any synthesizer. As you can see, like start with noise, you've got your noise on your oscillator, make sure you actually turn the oscillators like waveform off, because that just sounds ridiculous. Um, you've got your, your amp envelope to shape, just generally shape the sound as you, as, um, you would for any sound. Um, and then you've got your, your cutoff frequencies and resonances, get them banged onto the LFO to add some um, animation, and you can adjust these depending on what sort of like wind sound you're going for, whether it's gentle or if it's powerful. Um, you can add a chorus, pardon me, burped. You can add a chorus to, um, create a kind of comb filtering effect. Be very, very subtle with it though. And then you've got your delay or some form of stereo enhancer to, I, I would recommend always using the delay because it just, it, it like, it builds up all the, like the noise and like the frequencies even more and it just makes it like sound even more like wind to me anyway. Um, so get a delay on, nice long delay as well, ping pong in between the ears and all that because you won't notice the ping pong, it'll just all blend in very nicely. And uh, finally, was it the EQ next? Yeah, EQ. After that, EQ to um, boost your lows or reduce your lows or whatever. They'll be the main parts you'll be focusing on your lows, um, and that can create like you can create like stormy sounds or gentle breezes or anything like that. So I hope this has been very entertaining. Uh, <laughs> I got through it okay. Uh, <laughs> so uh, have fun uh, creating wind noises.